Our family's home theater has evolved numerous times over the last decade as TVs, receivers, speakers, and source components revolve in and out of the AV rack. This short video presentation focuses on the current incarnation of our home theater's increased storage capability, which was expanded late last year. Our home theater media implementation is client-server based across a 1 gigabit Ethernet network. The media server itself is a dedicated computer with massive amounts of storage space residing in a remote room on the second floor of our home. While the computer is a plain vanilla PC circa 2006, the 36 terabyte storage solution attached to the server is no off-the-shelf configuration. What's behind the storage solution? The Adaptec 5085 Voodoo SAS RAID controller is the engine that drives the storage solution. Even today, several years after its first release, its PCIe bus interface and 3 gigabit per second transfer rate keep it at the top of its class for performance for direct attached storage controllers. The Adaptec 5085 controller is attached to an external 12-bay JBOD enclosure by Zyrotex, the Model 1220S. The Zyrotex 1220 features hardware redundancy in both fans and power supplies and has onboard intelligence for alerting users to failures via audible alarms or message logging. Connectivity into the chassis is SAS, but drive bays can be occupied by either SAS hard drives or SATA hard drives. Which brings us to the hard drives themselves. Occupying the 12 bays of the enclosure are Western Digital 3TB drives featuring a total raw capacity of 36 terabytes. The Adaptec RAID controller has the 12 hard drives configured in a RAID 6 array, which allows for up to two drive failures without the loss of data. Taking into account the two parity drives needed for the RAID 6, and that a 3 terabyte drive's formatted capacity is approximately 2.7 terabytes, the total usable space of the array is a little more than 27 terabytes. Let's take a closer look at that. This is the Adaptec Storage Manager software. Within this software, you can look at your different uh, drive attributes, array attributes, and closure attributes. We're just going to poke around in here and take a look at all the different devices that we have set up on the Media Center array and see what kind of information you can gather from it. On the controller, uh, you can look at the different devices. You can get your versions of firmware and BIOS and boot ROMs. Uh, you can get the status of all the various attributes for the controller. Uh, you can look at different power statistics, and you can look and see how many different FIs are actually attached uh, to the controller. Uh, the 1220 uh, enclosure has four FIs that it uses to talk to the 12 drives. And each one, is, at this point, is connected at 3 gigabits per second. If you look at the properties of the drives, uh, you can get the device information, the firmware for the devices, uh, for the WD drives, uh, the capacity for each device, and where on the drive the blocks are physically laid out and at what capacity rates. Uh, the status of each drive, looking at the different hard errors, uh, soft errors, parity errors, smart errors, etc., uh, which FI they're connected to, and what kind of power uh, uh, options that they have uh, set on the drives um, through the mode pages. Uh, we also look at the enclosure management device properties. Uh, this information tells you the firmware that's on the enclosure management uh, CPU, uh, as well as status information for the individual power supplies and fans and temperature sensors. Um, and the speaker status, uh, in this case, uh, is turned off. I have all the alerts going through email uh, and through message logging. And lastly, you can look at the properties for the array itself. Uh, in this case, uh, the RAID 6 uh, is comprised of all 12 drives, uh, giving a total capacity, usable capacity, of a little over 27 terabytes. Um, you can look at the different statistics or the statuses for the controller options in the array, uh, the different power options that the controller offers for the array, uh, and then the segments that make up uh, the actual um, uh, RAID 6, in this case the 12 uh, WD drives. And now we'll move on to the computer management application in Windows 7, which shows the logical drive layout of how the RAID 6 uh, is broken up. Uh, the RAID 6 is depicted here as disk 1, uh, 27 terabytes, and it's broken up into two logical drives, drive M for media, uh, this is where the TV shows and movies are stored, and drive S for backups, which is used to back up the other systems on the network. And from here, uh, we will go on to the uh, client-based software uh, that actually plays your movies and TV shows. This is the opening screen of the XBMC interface on the home theater PC client and as you can see in the bottom right hand corner of the screen the total number of movies available on the media server is 771 and if we go ahead and select the movie category 
we will start to get a list of all the movies uh, in alphabetical order um, the, that are available on the media server. Uh, they could be sorted pretty much any way you can think of uh, alphabetical, by year of release, by star, by director, etc. Um, I usually leave mine to, uh, default in the alphabetical order. And XBMC will scrape each one of the files and pull information off the internet uh, for the metadata uh, so that uh, it looks good and you can get uh, information about uh, each movie available to make your decision on whether or not you're going to watch it. Uh, in this particular instance, the file um, metadata uh, is displaying 1080p uh, for the resolution. Uh, an aspect ratio of 2.35, a video codec of H.264, and the audio format is DTS 5.1. If you select additional information on the movie, you can get more metadata, uh, writer, director, studio, genre, year, country, runtime, etc., etc., along with a quick plot synopsis uh, of the movie. You can select to play the movie. and it immediately starts. No promos, uh, no previews, uh, just right to the heart of the movie. If we back out of the movie section of XBMC, we can go down and select TV shows. Uh, and again, in the bottom right hand corner for TV shows, it gives you a count of all of the TVs and episodes that are currently stored on the media server. Uh, in this case, as of today, uh, there are 184 television shows uh, that comprise over 13,000 episodes. Uh, some episodes or some TV shows are complete uh, in terms of uh, the number of episodes stored for each season, uh, and some are works in progress, and some uh, ha have sporadic numbers of episodes per season. If we select TV shows, uh, again, just like with the movie side, uh, you can select your favorite TV shows, and uh, get more information about them if you want to see them. Uh, like for Big Bang Theory, um, currently stored seven seasons with 124 episodes. Uh, we get some additional information about it. Um, in this case, uh, the ratings, uh, the year that the show was actually released, um, the path to where the shows are stored, and an overall plot uh, for what the series is about. When you select the television series, you're presented with all of the different seasons that are available for watching. And let's just pick season 5 for an example. And then these are all of the individual episodes that are stored for season 5 along with uh, a synopsis um, of the episode itself. Uh, these files uh, for this season are in 720p uh, resolution in a 16 by 9 format. Um, encoded with H.264 uh, and the audio for this is in Dolby Digital uh, 5.1. We select the episode and it starts. No commercials. In the settings uh, you have total control uh, over how the system is presented. Um, you can control your library, you can add apps, uh, you can add programs, uh, you can uh, reconfigure your home menu to display pretty much whatever you want to display. Very, very powerful song. As you recall, our home theater PC network began with a relationship between the media server and the HTPC client in the family room, and that evolved uh, over the course of the year into an HTPC client in our game room. Uh, which in turn uh, evolved into clients for the office as well as the master bedroom. Uh, after adding uh, all these clients to our network for simultaneous streaming for the media server, we also added wireless capabilities so that we can speak to uh, iPads and iPhones and be able to stream content to those mobile devices as well directly from the media server. The family room and game rooms have dedicated HTPCs with bootable SSD drives and super quiet fans. Whereas the office and master bedroom clients are being run by the $35 Raspberry Pi computers, uh, very reliable with XBMC. Uh, most of our viewing, however, is done on the big screen TV in the family room, uh, the Samsung 65-inch LCD.